everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're cleaning my grooming supplies I'm using Dawn because it's safe on animals and Simple Green because it is non-toxic for disinfecting I have the Dawn here in hot water in a tub and then over here I have a bucket full of warm water that I'm going to pour the disinfectant in and then of course you need your grooming supplies pet supplies animal supplies Goat supplies, horse supplies, whatever. As long as they're dirty, needs to be cleaned. Taking my simple green, and I'm just going to pour however much I think needs to go in there for disinfecting. Just a little more. There we go. Here I am taking a seat because this part takes a while. I'm going to take the metal curry comb in my kit and remove the excess dirt, dust, and debris, and fur from all of the brushes. I'm using an empty bucket to catch all that stuff because I just don't want it flying all over my backyard. I'm just OCD like that. So you can either just use a trash can or nothing at all. I just don't want the fur all over the place. And then after I clean out all the excess dirt, dust, and debris, and fur, I just toss it into the soapy water. Here I'm going to take the comb that I have, and I'm going to use that to get the excess fur and mane out of his brush and then toss that into the sudsy water. Now I'm just taking all of my supplies out of my top little bins so that way I can clean out this kit, which is a toolbox from Harbor Freight. So here we have all the brushes and supplies in the soapy water to soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now I have regular clean water for rinsing, I have my bucket of disinfectant water, and what we're going to do is we are just going to clean everything into the soapy water, and then rinse in the black bucket, and then drop in the yellow bucket for disinfecting. Again, I just take the metal curry comb to all of my brushes to really get deep down in the bristles to remove any dirt, oil, and fur from the brushes to make sure they're nice and clean. It's just me because I'm OCD. Flick it to get the excess water out. So I can really rinse it good, especially this brush because it is a finishing brush. So all the hairs and fibers are densely packed. And I want to make sure that the disinfectant water gets really soaked up in there. And then here I just take a brush to everything to clean. I clean the tops of my brushes. I clean curry combs. I clean everything with the brushes. Then I just use the metal curry comb to clean the actual brushes themselves. I wish I could move this fast in real life. I get so much done.
Here I am cleaning out my kit itself. Because that collects a lot of stuff at the bottom. And here's everything disinfecting. Now we're going to take it over to a clean pail of water. Just clean, nothing in it to do all the rinsing. Just swish everything around to rinse it out really good. And then sit it on the blanket or a towel that you have out to dry. Here I'm taking one of the brushes, swishing it around in the water to rinse it really good. And then using my fingers to pry apart the bristles to make sure that I'm getting it nice and clean. Flick out the excess water. Brushes go face down, or bristles down, to dry. And then I just throw everything else in there and rinse it off really good. Which is why I like to use the Dawn and the Simple Green because both of them are non-toxic. And if anything doesn't get rinsed out that well, then I know it's not going to kill my horse or irritate him too much. But I think I do a pretty good job on rinsing everything out. Here I am rinsing out the grooming kit itself. And then set that out to dry along with everything else, all the brushes bristles down so the water doesn't collect inside the quote-unquote barrel of the brushes like makeup and then once everything is dry then you just put it back in your kit but don't be like me and forget and leave it out and the sprinklers come on thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe for more see you in the next one